Hey everyone, it's Jenny Woolsey here. Welcome to the second day of September of Craniofacial Acceptance Month. Now, I have been looking for the last couple of days and plan to look at for the rest of the month self acceptance because the theme for our craniofacial acceptance month is I accept me, I accept you. Yesterday, I looked at well, what is self acceptance? Today, I want to look at why should we have self acceptance? So, let me pose the question to you why do you think? We should accept our faces and ourselves, all of us, the good stuff, the not so good stuff, all of us. Why should we be accepting it? Why, is, why do you think that is important? Well, maybe you've come up with a few different answers, but I think the main answer would be or the main reason probably would be for our positive mental well-being now to me positive well-being is massive it's huge because all through my life i have suffered from anxiety and depression and i know it's been my mental health has been the best when I've been accepting of who I am as a person, all of me, and of the situation that I am in. Now, the story I, I thought I would tell you today is related to my face. So when I was a girl, when I was nine years old, I was the first in my state of Queensland in Australia to have reconstructive surgery on my face. Until then, there was no plastic surgery, no reconstructive surgery available in Australia. Uh, it came to South Australia first and then came to Brisbane. There were complications, you could say, with my surgery. Things went wrong, being pioneer surgery and even complications occurred today. And I had massive swelling of the optic nerve in my left eye and I lost most of that sight. I also, due to my Cruzon syndrome, have lost a lot of the peripheral vision in my right eye. So I only see out of part of my right eye. Now, since I was nine, I've tried to hide the fact that I have low vision and can't see very well. I became very good at faking it, pretending I could see when I couldn't. Now in 2018, when I was out and about and I was having falls and I was getting hurt and scares and, and numerous things were happening that weren't good, I had to really talk to myself and go, is it worth faking my vision when the possibility is I'm going to get really hurt by falling down a you know, flight of stairs or something like that? Is it really worth faking it when I will only go to the same takeaway and order the same thing because I can't read the menu board that's up above? Is that really worth it? Wouldn't it be better if I just accept that I have low vision and that's okay? And if I need to use a cane or something to help me, then that's a good thing. That is okay. So anyway, part of this, the story continues that I did go to guide dogs and I now use a white cane, a long cane. Now, when I relate that back to your face and how you look, I want you to think about, is it worth the angst of not accepting yourself? Is it worth the emotional and mental energy that goes into not 
liking your face, not accepting this is part of who you are and that's okay. Whether you, you know, is it is it is it worth it? So I want you really to think about that because I think a lot of people with craniofacial syndromes do not accept their face, do not accept that is part of who they are. And I'm going to talk about in the future videos about the, you know, why me? And this is unfair and, you know, other things that people will say to us or we even say to ourselves, and, and how we deal with those questions. So my tip for you today is think about, do you fully accept who you are as a whole person? Now, if you say no, maybe there's some little steps you can take. I don't expect you to just flip the switch and go, you know, yesterday I, I didn't like myself, today I'm going to like myself because that it's not as easy as that. It's a journey. But look at your face. What do you like about your face? Or what do other people say they like about your face? And, and maybe just to start with, focus on that. Or it may even be your hair. I like my curly hair. Focus on one thing and then as maybe tomorrow or next week or the next year, you can even, you can start thinking about, well, what else can I like about myself? What else can I like about myself? And so on. Well, I'll leave it here for today. I hope this has helped someone and I will see you tomorrow for another tip. My name is Jenny Woolsey. I am an author, speaker, teacher and artist on the theme of disability, difference and mental well-being. If you are liking the videos, please share them so other people can also hear my message and comment below. That would be awesome. Well, I'll leave you today with my motto, which is be weirdly wonderful. Embrace your disability and differences. See you tomorrow.